Okay, so this is week four of December Daily, and I have three more days I'm going to do. And then um, I have been going back through and just adding a few little things. I um, can't add much more. It's so, it's so thick. But um, anyway, um, and then I will do a walkthrough in uh, greater detail um, once I've finished everything and everything's complete. I, the other walkthroughs have kind of said what the products are, and so I will go back and just pull everything out one more time and do it with some good light without all that garbage in the back. Sorry. But I will kind of walk through really quickly until we get to week four, and I am going all the way through the end of the year. Um, so I'll try to get a better camera so that it's a... Uh, um, you can see it really well. I can go up a little bit here. Um, I've added, gone through and added some things. I told you last time that I added like that page there so that they were more of the same tone. But I do. Um, I do like how it's turned out. I'm not going to say what my favorite or least favorite pages are. I'm just going to enjoy the whole thing. I've learned a lot from it. Um, I think that I've decided that next year, sorry for the wiggle, Next year, I might, um, I don't know, try not to do it, like, in real time. And just collect the stories, collect the pictures. Maybe I'll do some more in advance, or I'm not really sure, because I just want to make sure that I am taking the time to enjoy the things I'm doing, too. And I know I've seen a lot of people that, you know, will say, like, I finally finished my December Daily in August or October of the next year, and, and I'm kind of seeing why now. Um... I have enjoyed it, but tried not to make it um, uh, something like I have to do, like it's a burden. I'm sorry that goes with that, but like I said, I'll go through and show you these better again. These pull out, all these things that pull out like this I showed you last time. So, almost to where I left off on day 21 was the last day I did. And then um, 22, this is where things got really hectic, but... This is 22. Um, this is a line. I think it's called Make It Merry. And um, so this was day 22, and it was this old, this vintage line. And um, I went to some of my, like the oldest bakery in Dallas, and I wrote up about it right there. I went to the oldest bakery in Dallas. We go every year called Kubies, and I went to this meat market called, oops, oh, sorry, that's. Kubis is a meat market. The oldest bakery is Stein's. And so I went with my mom and I had her kind of write up about it in her handwriting. And I like that. That was in there. And then um, this was a ticket from Stein's that you get in line. But really, if you want to get anything in Stein's, you have to order it. So like these gingerbread cookies are amazing. So we had to order them in advance because I knew going there, um, they would not have them. So um, that was day 22. Um, just a day of like old traditions and um, this... A uh, German deli is in a place called Snyder Plaza in Highland Park in Dallas, and they sell all the German meat. We always get meat for uh, Christmas Eve. We have, like, deli sandwiches and stuff. So then day 23 was my Bible Fellowship's uh, Christmas Eve Eve party. And um, so then what I did, just so, because I had this, this was kind of a simpler page, so what I did was I wrote a letter to December, or to Christmas, rather, and um, just kind of wrapped up a little bit. It's kind of, kind of like I used to write a Christmas letter, and I've just kind of stopped doing that, but it just kind of wrapped up, you know, um, just kind of the year and um, why I was looking forward to December and some of the struggles. And um, anyway, uh, so, and then it kind of wrapped uh, what had been going on that that month and that year. So it was just a good way of doing it, and then I could match those two pages, and then this one went with my Christmas Eve. So this was a page from the Alley Edwards, and this was um, a rhinestone like star that I got at Joanne's. And this page before, this was Alley Edwards, this was some poinsettia things I got over Jolie, and this was a tag from um, Hallmark this year. Someone gave it to me. And I made it my, I thought that went really well with that. And then this was a little sticker from Michael's. And then these were some letters from, like, Michael's. And then these, again, were part of the kit. And these were just some flowers that I had bought earlier. So, 
Anyway, so then this was one of the overheads that were an extra add-on, which I loved. And so then day 24, I didn't do any pictures on the first page, but I actually did several pages for Chris Christmas Eve. And I wrote about like when I went to Israel and when we went to visit what is thought to be the site of um, where the caves where they believe Jesus was born. So even if that's not the exact spot, the fact that it was somewhere around there. And when we were there, we went down there and there's a church built over it now. And down near where they believe he was born, um, there was a group that was sitting and they were singing a little town of Bethlehem. And they were singing a different language, but you could tell the tune. And it was so beautiful. And so I just did that all on this um, sheer vellum page that I got, I think at Michael's. And then this was a Heidi Swap number. These were from Hobby Lobby. And these were, I think I ordered those from actually Party City when they had free shipping. But you can get those all over. You can get them at Michael's. So then I did on the back side, I wrote up about our Christmas Eve and what we did. And so this was a candlelighting service. And then um, this is one I don't, I may not add anything to this, but um, anyway, uh, so it's kind of a three-page Christmas Eve and I'd made this little overhead. I love this quote. Um, May you never be too old or too grown up to search the skies for Christmas Eve. And then I read about how when I was little, I said, this is my family eating Christmas Eve dinner. It's my brother's dog. She came over with her sweater. Um, and then I just read about how I used to think that every blinking light was a reindeer guiding Santa's sleigh. And how when I, um, I still see those lights and I hope that other little kids are looking up and and knowing what those are. So, and then I just added a couple little, I kind of did a blue and red um, theme, and then added this little Rudolph charm right there. Like I said, um, this was Christmas morning, so this is the back side of that. I'm not really sure sometimes how to deal with that. So my brother came over, he was over with his dogs, and then uh, my mom and my brother came over, and we were just opening gifts just with our little small family. This was a card from the alley. Edwards. This was a tag from October morning. This was Allie Edwards. Just some ribbon I had um, left over from I think Michael's. So um, add a little wood heart and you know just keep adding some little things and then I'll figure out when I'm finished. So then this was actually the rest of Christmas. Uh, my cousin and his two kids flew in town which was really fun but they flew in that day. So we went over to my aunt's house and this was I think uh, maybe some more Heidi Swap numbers, just something out of my stash. This was a tag from the Dollar Tree. Um, and then this envelope was from Hobby Lobby. And I just added some, just to get, make it a little bit sturdier, I added some gold washi. And then inside the envelope are the pictures from... I think I have some more in there. Oh, that was... Oh. Trying to figure out. Okay. Anyway, so just have little pictures from the day. So my little, my cousin's little boy sitting on my brother's motorcycle. Everyone eating. This is um, my cousin's little boy um, with his fingerling, which I had picked up in October. Um, oh, you know what? This was a tag that I had written that I wanted to include, and I haven't included that yet. So I'm um, just about just about Santa and um, about how when I was little how I figured out that Santa was real so I'm gonna have to add that to the back of some paper and add it here and then I just have pictures um, from the day I have a lot of Jonathan um, and then there's one of Blythe that's his little daughter and this is Jonathan passing out gifts and I was really just kind of wrote up about that too that he would um, he was walking around and he'd say this is really fragile because it's very heavy um, this one's not fragile and he toss it because it's light and we're like, don't toss it. And he's like, oh, it's, it's not fragile. It's light. So anyway, um, I wrote up about that a little bit. So I need to add that little journaling about Santa, but they all slip inside that pocket. So then this is the 26th. I am doing all the days of Christmas. We just went to Cracker Barrel. My cousin always wants to go. He's, um, living in California for the last, gosh, like 15 years or something. And, um, this is one of his requests, so we met up there, and apparently we weren't the only ones with that idea. This is a line, I think it's by Bow Bunny, it's called Follow La though, and they have some really cute little stickers and all kinds of stuff, and then I use one of the Allie Edwards numbers, and one of those, baby, it's cold outside because it is freezing, but I think it's that way everywhere, so, um, 
just based on when I'm watching the weather. Okay, so then this is the 27th. Um, it has been a long time coming. Um, I finally got a new car. Uh, I've had mine for 14 years. And um, the joke is, it's not a joke, but it's uh, it caught on fire like three years ago, the seat while I was driving it. So I can't believe I didn't get one then. But I've been waiting for a car that um, really matched what I wanted. And the new Traverse, I love. They finally have the windows in the back. It's weird, but it sits more like a truck in here. It looks, I felt like claustrophobic in the other ones. And then in the back, the windows are wider. And that's what I was waiting for so that I wouldn't have my vision um, so I just did like a quick little more of that follow law, some of the doodads, these are just some washi from, um, I think it might be Miss Sparkle and Company, so it's actually a Valentine's, but it's been really going well. Did some of this with my label maker, and just added some random flower for my stash, and then today's, um, we took, my cousin and I took Blythe to medieval times and so I wanted to kind of still keep with the Christmassy colors and it just so happened that we got the green night so I wrote about that on this little tag and nothing's in the back then I added some of these little guys from the Ali Edwards I kind of did her she had this really cute like where she stapled it and put the loop on the movie ticket so I kind of did the same thing I love that put the 28th with glitter letters and then on the back I did like um a photo collage and um, this is her getting a her very first flower from a boy as I would say um, and then she just had a really great time we all did but it was so fun to take her and see how much she enjoyed that so I have three more days and I'm doing like like here I've already started printing off articles from 2017 just kind of the major news events and stuff and then I'm gonna do three more days and then I'll come back and do a walkthrough of the whole thing and um, with better lights better cameras and all that jazz so but so far, so good. Just getting really fat. Hopefully I can fit those last three days in.